Okay, so continuing in the same vein about uh, sensitive uh, social issues, what do you make of the fact that conservative groups, especially religious groups, have become so vocal and assertive, especially when it comes to uh, controversial laws like Section 377A? The problem with 377 is it was an inherited law. If it was not in the statutes, I don't think it would be brought into the statutes. So 377 is the same number in India and in other Commonwealth jurisdictions mm-hmm. because it all came from the mother legislation, <laughs> yeah. which was probably India. I'm not sure. So this is a position we are in where if the law were not there, it would not have been put into place. And we say, well, we will not act on it. That is not, that's not satisfactory. So at some point in time, government will have to rationalize it. But the moment you rationalize it, people will say, look, this is a slippery slope. Then after that, there will be gay marriage and adoption by gay parents. So when they see a slippery slope, they say, no, don't take the first step. But if there's an assurance that it's not a slippery slope, I think we would have diffused the issue. Hmm. So to me, the key is what assurance the government can give to these groups that you talk about, that this is not a slippery slope. That there will be red lines that will not be crossed. (laughs) Which will not be crossed, not just a red tape, which can be easily removed, but something firmer than that, which comforts them. Then we would have diffused this issue. 